And then, no. Uh, it, oh, hard. hey, hold on. Let me, let me, let me accept your recording. I accept it. Oh, that, I you accept, accept it. it. Yeah. So now, Anna, tell the whole world over there what you're going to be making for us. And folks, if you want to watch Anna cook this, you can go over to uh, YouTube and watch this this entire episode, except for the Rob Zombie part, because yeah, they're we'll all cut like, that out. They're cut all up in their own YouTube. shit over there at YouTube. You know, they they won't allow that. So anyway, um, but, but, but I am uh, making for us today. It is Thanksgiving time. Yeah, Thanksgiving tide, as it were. Yeah. If we're if we were in a Chaucer novel, um, so I am making my zucchini mac and cheese. This one is an insane, insane recipe. It uses a metric ton of cheese. Go ahead and take a HELOC out on your house because that's how much cheese you're going to be buying. Plus it uses pancetta and I'm basically doubling the pancetta. I'm basically, <laughs> that's way more than a half a cup. I, I just, the pancetta and the almond flour is going to be toasted for the top. Yeah. And you can't go wrong. You, you'll never use too much pancetta. So I'm actually going to just start preheating the oven to 350. I'm going to show you guys spiralizing zucchini. I'm going to show you guys how to make this whole, you know, it's called zucchini bechamel mac and cheese. And a bechamel just means uh, it's a, a creamy, milky base and that you yeah. melt the cheese into. That's all. And we're not using nutmeg. Most bechamels have nutmeg. We're not doing that. No, you know, you can I, if you, you know, want to. I, I know Andy Schreiber hates the nutmeg. Andy I learned that about him. Nutmeg. Yeah. Whenever you probably went to a steak restaurant with him and you ordered cream of spinach. Cream spinach. Cream, and then yeah. he said, Does it have nutmeg in it? And he didn't say, yes. Does it have flour in it? He yeah. said, Does it have nutmeg in it? Yes. <laughs> Oh, Andy and I have argued in every state in the United States, except right. Alaska and Hawaii, because we haven't traveled to those two together uh, <laughs> about nutmeg. And by the way, he's partially right, because some of these restaurants just get a little too liberal with the uh, nutmeg. That nutmeg has to be a very, very yeah, it's small. Gotta be, it's got to be a hint of, you know, yeah. it can't taste like, uh, oh, my God, they, they just go crazy. But, you Look know, this. usually, what, what do you have there? Oh, it's a spiralizer. You know how you guys want to make zucchini noodles yeah. and you overspend? You're going to need your money to buy cheese, okay? I, again, the yeah. cheese, is, there's a lot of cheese. And it probably had to mortgage your house. Do not buy the pre-spiralized. Mm. Get one of these, 30, 35 bucks. Go through the Vinnie Tortorich link. Um, this Padern, it's yeah. called the Paderno Spiralizer. It's literally the exact one that I have. Actually, I'll face it this way. I don't have enough room to do this and still... Heat up my pancetta. So, I'm. By the way, I'm heating up the pancetta. Just gonna make it nice and toasty. Remove mm, it, good. and then leave the drippings in there and and uh, toast the almond flour. So, let me see if I can do this and fit everything in. Um, I'm gonna spiralize zucchini without burning myself because usually I would do this in a separate part of my kitchen, but I want to do it for. You. It's too hot right there. I'm moving this over. It's too hot. Come on, Annie, you got to plan ahead. Uh, for all of you non-Italians out there, pancetta is the Italian version of uh, basically bacon. Yeah, um, it's and cured it's funky. Yeah, it's cured. and delicious. Oh, my it's, God. It's, it's, it's even better than bacon because in a way, I'm not better, it's just different. It's not smoked. Mm -hmm. it, it's cured, but it's not smoked. So you can put it in a wider it's variety of things. Salty. You, oh, it's so good. so good. There's usually herbs around it, salt, pepper. Yeah. Um, I mean, that's all wiped off, but it has like the essence. This one really smells strong about the rosemary. Thanksgiving's coming up, Vinny. Yeah, I know. You, you know what I'm asked about constantly? It was, yeah. I was being, this year, you know how they show the Christmas ads too early? This year, y'all yeah. were asking about Thanksgiving too early. Like Halloween hadn't even happened. And everybody's like, yeah. what are we doing? And the people how are we going to handle not, this? Well, you know, as soon as football players go into late August, early August practice, people start talking holidays nowadays. I don't get it. You know, I, I don't really get what's going on there. But look, all I did was cut the ends off of this uh, zucchini. Okay. You pop it in there. See that guy? See Put it in doing. the middle. Yeah, all right. Can you see Can you this? See? And then it's 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 suctioned to the counter. Yeah. Right. And then we just start to. You can kind of see the ribbons coming out. Oh my God! Right, yeah, that, that, folks, you got to go spend. Easy. What is that? Thirty dollars, Anna? It's, it, I got this thing years ago, and it was thirty-three dollars. I think at the most they might be forty bucks now. It's called the Paderno Spiralizer. They have different blades that you put yeah. in. I only ever use this one blade. I don't. 
you could, oh, I've ribboned, I've ribboned cucumber before for like a cucumber salad. Right. But I'm going to, I'm going to spiralize four zucchini for this. This is going to be, this is going to make a lot of zucchini mac and cheese. I will, by the time this airs, put this up on my website, but it is also in Eat Happy One. See? Nice. Getting a little and crispy. I feel like I can almost smell it through the computer. It smells, smells yeah. so good. I want to be at it your house right amazing. Now, just snorting up the air. Just, yeah. Yeah. I get it. I get uh, it. By the way, Anna, I, I saw mm -hmm. someone sent this to me yesterday because you know, I, I've talked about this on the podcast. Uh, Wolfgang mm -hmm. Park was like in his own kitchen and he mm -hmm. goes, look, he goes, I took this big, big chunk of Parmesan and you know, Wolfgang's probably got the really good Parmesan. Yeah. Yeah. And I would he, hope he so. Cut it into chunks, right? Like morsel sized chunks. And he goes, look, I just throw some of it on the plate. These morsels. I whip some uh, olive oil across the top. I throw a little salt on it mm -hmm. and I have myself a snack. When people say, what kind of snack do you have? It's so easy. The first time Coddington and I, well, not the first time, he was at my house, maybe the third time. I was still in Woodland Hills. And I said, hey, you want a little, little snack before we go? Yeah, what are you having? I said, I'm going to do, do a little cheese board. So I took yeah. a little wooden cheese board. Uh, I threw some cheese in there. I chopped up a bunch of chunks of different cheeses, not just my, uh, not just Parmigiana. And um, I threw a, a group of olives on there. I, I think I probably put some sardines or, or at least some uh, anchovies on uh, mm -hmm. anchovies. And then I pulled out my Villa Capelli and did the Zorro swoosh. He goes, whoa, yeah. whoa, hey, what, what are you? As Coddington would say, he goes, that's unauthorized. What are you doing? I said, Don, <laughs> trust me, you're in my house now. Just sit back, pumpkin, and watch. I love that you so, called him pumpkin. For I call once. everybody pumpkin. So I-, I Oh, I then that, that means less. I know, all you women. All right, so now I took uh, the salt <laughs> and threw it on top of that. And he was like, whoa, salt's on top of cheese. I said, Don, trust and then he started eating this. And he said to me, why haven't you ever talked about this in the podcast? And I went, I, I don't know, I forget, you know, this is where- Isn't it implied? Isn't it implied? I, 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 you know, I guess people don't, I guess people don't know what I do at home. And, and that's one of the things I do. And then someone saw it and sent me a thing on Twitter. And go, hey, Wolfgang Park is doing the same thing that you do. Yeah, people who are who, who love the way food tastes, like I guess it's very me, simple. Me and the Wolf Gang, uh, that's, that's what we do. Easy. Um, Easy look at this. Easy. Look at this. Ribbons and ribbons of zucchini. That's amazing. So here, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna kind of spread them out on this towel, and I'm gonna go ahead and and uh, salt them and sweat them a little bit, and then eventually I'm gonna dab them dry. You don't have to do this step. It just Zucchini will give off water as it cooks, you know, and you want it to be that creamy mac and cheese thing. And we don't put flour in it. We don't put cornstarch in it. We don't right. put that stuff. So you're not going to absorb the liquid as much. So get out ahead of it, you know? Yep. So I'm going to put that aside, let that sweat and um, tend to my. See that? Starting to get. It's mostly fat. So I'm trying to render the fat without it getting too smoky. I still am figuring out this stove. Um, do you want to talk about the, 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 cause we always talk about what I'm targeted with with Instagram ads. Cause I'm a lady of a certain age. And then Lauren yeah. got a crazy Instagram ad and he was I, asking I, me about it. I do it. want to talk about that, but I want to talk about this first. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm, this is a little, I'm doing this for the audience. Okay. Uh, this morning when I was on my, uh, I was on the rowing machine, my concept two. Mm -hmm. uh, Cody Cod called me right before I got on because you know I was going to watch something. I planned on just doing an hour because I had to do like five hours of yard work. I ended right. up doing ninety five minutes because um, I watched a movie that was ninety minutes long. Yeah, and okay. I want the audience. Uh, if you guys want to see what passion is, uh, you need to go watch this. For, you know, for Coddington to call me at like eight o'clock in the morning and go, you know, I'm watching this right now. You got to watch it. Um, it's called the alpinist and like uh, about alpine, like the word alpine alpinist. Yeah. Yeah. Alp okay. Yeah. Um, the alpinist and, uh, it's on iTunes. I watched it on, um, Amazon prime. You have to pay for it. It is not free, not even on prime. 
Um, I think I paid four or five bucks for it. Well, you know, I, I would have paid a hundred dollars for it at the end. I'm just telling you that for really, it's that good, huh? To rent it, I paid four or five bucks. And if someone told me I could rent it for a hundred, I, I would say rent it for a hundred. Um, okay. Look, if you want to click through my banner, that would be great. I probably get somewhere between two and five cents, probably closer to two cents. But hey, every penny counts. Every penny counts. Um, so you, you know, I appreciate when you guys do that. It's about this guy, Mark LeClaire. Um, and it opens up and do you know who Alex Handel is? Mm -mm. You do. Uh, you just I do. you do. Yeah. Uh, Alex, we probably Handel, talked about him on this podcast. Everyone in the world talked about him. Um, he Alex Handel is the, the subject in the movie Free Solo. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And as a matter of fact, he they stayed at the top of the documentary game forever until a little movie called Fat a Documentary came along. And yeah. knocked it off. <laughs> of course, we held that spot for three weeks or a month. And then for some reason, Alex Handel's movie came back and started kicking. Actually, mm -hmm. uh, Aretha Franklin's movie came in and took the spot. Then we took it back from her and then Alex Handel's movie. It, it, it was, Alex Handel's movie is that fascinating. This movie opens up with him going, okay, this kid, Mark LeClaire, Le is just a stud, right? Right. And I'm going, okay. All right. And it starts with Mark LeClaire, and then you meet the girlfriend. You go, oh, this is just another version of Free Solo. No, mm -hmm. it is not. Okay. Um, I won't tell you anything else about the movie. Uh, it should be the best documentary this year or next year or the year oh, after. Oh, okay. And Did that's including the fact it, it's been out. It came out, I think, in 2020. I, I, I looked it up and I don't really know when it came out. Let me see if I could figure it out. Mm -hmm. um, but I just saw it. So it's new to me. And uh, let's see. see if we can you have to do all the computer stuff now that I'm cooking. Yeah. How's it feel? Do you feel angry about it? Yeah, a little bit. Also, because you don't get to eat this food. Well, I'm very angry about that, but that's a whole different thing. <laughs> it came out, no, it came out. It's new. It came out in 2021. So it, it's just come out. And folks, if you want to learn what passion is and what, pa you know, why, you know, as humans, why we do what we do, that's what got me thinking because after watching that movie, should be wearing um, my apron. I, I went outside and I, I did yard work. As Anna knows, I, I'm redoing my yard myself. Oh, and I've, I've, yeah. Yard, and you've seen mm -hmm. the work. And yep. it's, it, you know what? Serena went out and ran a 50K today. And Oh, my uh, gosh. Yeah. Amazing. It, it, was, it was a warm-up race for uh, 100K she's going to run. And I wow. felt like you know, she's out there doing that. I can't just sit around. So that, that's why I did 90 minutes on the rowing machine. And then I went outside. I felt like I ran a 50K or, or more myself. Right. But when I'm out there doing that, uh, you know, I, I was using a lot of chainsaw. I was using a lot of, you know, leaf blower. I was using a lot of uh, other machinery. I didn't listen to any music or anything. I didn't even know where my cell phone was. I, I like escaping the cell phone. Mm -hmm. I, yes. You know what, Anna, when I called you to tell you we're starting the show, it was the first time I touched my cell phone since I did some tweeting this morning at 630. Yeah, you know, and I like it like that. But while I'm out there in my own head with no music or no nothing else for those five or six hours, I was out there working in the yard. I start thinking about this guy, Mark LeClaire. Uh, mm -hmm. And I'm thinking, man, he is more human than a human. Mm -hmm. You know, he's the human we should all be. Mm -hmm. right? We should all live our lives, our best lives, the way we need to live our lives. And that's how that song, you know, I started singing more human than human by um, um, uh, the white zombies, um, mm -hmm. Rob Zombie. And, and that's, that's when I, you know, I, when the show started, I had to come in with that. That's awesome. So, folks, the Alpinist. Go, go watch that, the Alpinist. Go watch that movie. It's about uh, the life and times of a very young man, Mark LeClaire, and we sh we should all treat life the way he did. And uh, you will love that movie, Anna. Um, yeah. We will get our guest on first. Okay. But I want to talk about what your husband was talking about. We will not end this podcast 
until I'm making I'm making breadcrumbs right now, by the way, you guys. All right. So Anna, do, do you want me to <laughs> breadcrumbs almond? using almond flour? Yeah, if you want to. I told her around 5 45. So oh, in that case, let, let's talk now about you okay. know. So right before the, the show started, um, Anna's husband was in the kitchen. Yeah. Barring. And Lauren, um, yeah. Mm -hmm. so he was saying, hey, you know, this thing popped up. It, it, Anna, you set it up. So you know how we do the segment where I read you things, if they're real or if they're not real. That stuff right. has popped up in my feed. And it's generally, it's anywhere from a hangover helper supplement to a menopause weight loss supplement to uh, a diet plan to one of them was a patch that you wear so you're not depressed. Like all these these things that are, are almost always complete tomfoolery and just supplements disguised as like wonder cures. Skullduggery. Skullduggery. And being the muckraker that I am, I have determined to dig it all up. So Lauren says, have you heard of this guy? And he showed me the guy. He looks like, you know, fit, good looking young guy, not a day over 35. Right. And um, he is talking about low T. So of course that came up in Lauren's feed because they you know, they just pick your gender and then they pick your age and then they go for yeah, it, they, right? They, he probably looked something up. Uh, he was probably looking up Jeep stuff. He yeah, was probably he looking up Jeep, Jeep stuff, stuff. And they were like, and oh, they go, oh, Jeep guys. Dude, yeah, guys. Jeep, Jeep guys of a certain yeah, age. Exactly. Um, so this guy was basically saying uh, what to do if you have low T. And, but then he wouldn't say what to do. And he said, oh, if you take these supplements, it'll help it. But if you eat certain foods, you're going to, you know, it, it's going to interfere or whatever. And I said, let me see that. And I remember us talking repeatedly on the podcast and being like, all, all, it's, he's a bro science dude. Right. And I go to see what he's selling not, on his not website. A I click not through. a doctor. Let, let, no, no, no. Let, let me start with that. Not a doctor. No, I, I clicked okay. through to see what he's selling. And it was um, BCAAs, creatine, like curcumin, you know, anti-inflammatory supplements, protein supplements, shakes, powders, pills, potions, right? Right. And uh, Lauren basically said to you, how can they say that? <laughs> and I'm like, oh, that's what we've been talking about for 10 years. <laughs> because yeah, as a woman, they say, they say that shit to women all the time. I didn't right. realize they were targeting men like that. Because they say oh, shit oh, to women you know, constantly. Like if, if I was time. 10 years younger, it would be, you know, you're trying to get pregnant or fertility or, you know what I mean? Like if I was 20 years younger, it would be, you know, get, take care of your hangover or whatever, you know, move up in your career. One of them literally was a, a patch for depression. I think it was Munique, Munique. Like Munique. I was like, how do you wear a patch for depression? What is that? What is the patch yeah. for depression? I had to turn the heat up on this because it wasn't starting. To, oh, now it's starting the, to brown. The Mu Munique. Okay. You are tempting me Meaning. to play stripper NFL at this point. <laughs> it is. I have are not played stripper not NFL. Play anymore? No, it's not that we're not allowed. I just stopped playing it. But when we do the video, um, you know what? I'll turn the video <laughs> off at the end and we'll play stripper NFL for the okay. first time. Oh, yeah. Remember that name. If you remind me, I'll turn <laughs> uh, it off because okay. I don't want Bill to have to cut it out in the middle of a video. Let me interject here just real quick to say I'm making almond flour. Uh, breadcrumbs using the pancetta grease and I added some butter to it just like as if you're toasting nuts you can't let it sit on the heat too long so that's why I keep stirring it because it's like a split second and then all of a sudden you have a bunch of burned almond meal and that's disgusting you can use pork rind you can use pork rind mixed with flax meal or you can just leave it plain and not put the breadcrumb on and just put the pancetta things on but I just want to throw that out there and then I'm going to start making the bechamel for the mac and cheese this is getting good um yeah, that, that was it, basically. It's like, just look out, because they're trying to get you. Well, I, look, he, he started, you know, your husband started the conversation. I literally said, did they say this, that, and the other thing? And he was like, dear caught mm -hmm. in headlights. He's like, that's exactly what they said. I went, okay. Because I've been hearing this crap. You know, folks, any guy that's telling you, some bro science guy is telling you, they're going to help you raise your tea without any drugs, take all these products. As I tell everyone, Coddington loves when I say this, if that stuff is not banned by the IOC, IOC is the Olympic, uh, International Olympic Committee, 
then it or then any, it doesn't or work. WADA <laughs> or any of it. Right. If that shit worked like any other hormone, they would be the first to make it the go. The first away. people taking it. They, yeah. They, they would go, okay, uh, th this is this is now um off limits. Right, right. I'm about to get a sizzle. Oh, I love when you get a sizzle. Because I'm going to make the bechamel in this flat pot so you guys can see it. Fuck, I just burnt myself. Woo, yeah, bitch. <laughs> Look at Anna. <laughs> it's all up in herself. I'm all up in it. And I already have all the music pulled up for stripper NFL. Oh, you're we so will ready be for a unique. We are so playing it today. <laughs> <laughs> uh, folks, if you're new to this podcast, we used to do a thing all the time called stripper NFL. And whenever we have a, a word that sounds like it can either be a stripper's name or the name of a free safety or a wide receiver on any NFL team, we do it. And we, yeah, I, we do we a little sure do. I'm really, I'm really bad at it. That's part of why it's so funny. <laughs> and um, we've been doing that. God, I guess we started that like eight or nine years ago. Anna. We, we, that wasn't one of our early been things, doing this right? a really long time. I'm going to pour two cups of milk and just kind of get it scalding hot, but not like boiling. You're not going to burn whole, it. Whole, no, whole milk. Always. Don't write me saying, can I use 2%? Because I'll say, no, you can if you hate yourself. Yeah, if you don't like any part of yourself, use 2%. <laughs> now, if you were me, you would be putting half and half in there or heavy you cream. Probably, you, you probably could. I, I would I would start with heavy cream. Um, when making a bechamel, we want, we're going to need to thin out this cheese, which I haven't even showed you guys yet. Oh, are you, I um, was watching Anna before the mics went hot. Uh, Anna was great in that Love. cheese. I can almost taste it. I'm going to grease this pan. You want to see my high tech method of greasing? Yeah. Why? Oh, paper towel. Let's see paper towel. Can. Water. Butter. There we go. Yep. That's it. It's almost like Marie, except she wouldn't have used the paper towel. She was old. <laughs> she just um, I, I would have held the butter, except for we're on camera. So, right yeah. Here. This is how my mom taught me to do it. And yeah. but, but over the years, I just use my hands. Yeah, old <laughs> Italian women didn't do that. You want to get some of mama's love in that pan. Mm -hmm. It works. Perfect. And Anna, um, it's I could eat that paper towel, but I'm not gonna. It's now 530. So should we get up? Yeah, I'm gonna bring her on. Let me while you bring her on, I'll show you guys what I have here. I have four different cheeses. I'm sorry. Yes, four different cheeses. I've got the cheddar. I've got two kinds of cheddar, actually, the, the yellow sharp cheddar and then the white cheddar from Kerrygold. I've got the fresh grated mozzarella. I've got Gruyere, which has a little nuttier profile. So you have the sharpness of the cheddar. You got the nuttiness of Gruyere. You have the softness of Fontina and mozzarella that kind of marries it all together. Now, the reason why I have four different cheeses is because to me, that's yummier. You can sub out different cheeses. Let's say you can't get a Gruyere, but you can get a Gouda. Put the Gouda in there. Let's say uh, you can't get the cheddar, but you can get the Colby Jack. Put that in there. I don't care. Do whatever you want. You just need a metric ton of cheese. She's not scared. Hey, Anna, you would happen yeah. to remember our guest's last name, right? This has got to be her. Yeah, no, that's her first name. Mm -hmm. I'm going to guess that this is her because there can't be two Kristas in my... Oh, <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think so. By the way, I'm melting. I'm going to melt some butter in here. And then I'm going to whisk in some, um, about three tablespoons of arrowroot and make a little like a uh, slurry. The arrowroot's going to help thicken it. You don't have to use arrowroot. I use three tablespoons for an entire giant meal. So it's not like we're breaking the bank here. Um, again, this is Thanksgiving stuff. I've got all the Thanksgiving <laughs> stuff up at my site. I've got, what do I have? The wild mushroom and green bean casserole. I've got the stuffing. I've got the stuff and muffins. I've got the, um, what is it? What is it, Vinny? Turkey and gravy. I'm still stuck on stuff and muffin. Stuff and muffins is awesome. It like combines that, all the I've got the acorn like, squash That sounds like my new porn name. <laughs> I do have candied yams up there, but um, with the least amount of sugar possible, but that one does have sugar. The candied yams, the paleo pumpkin pie, and the pumpkin cheesecake all have sugar in them, but the least amount possible to make it work. Put those aside if you don't want to do that. That's oh, the cream spinach is up there. My cream spinach is that might be my number one favorite recipe. It's so good. 
<laughs> and all you have to do if you're Andy Schreiber is omit. Do you put nutmeg? I put an eighth of a teaspoon of nutmeg in there. I don't like overdoing nutmeg, but you can certainly omit it if you're not a nutmeg guy. And the secret sauce is like a gram of cocaine in there. I have like, like just. A, <laughs> yeah. You have you have to snort. Oh, did we not tell you NSNG is a snorting diet? You have to snort all your food. Yeah, yeah, just snort. That's it how out. you lose weight. All right, we're bringing Krista mm -hmm. in. Bring Krista in. That's where I'm. There she is. Hi, Krista. Oh my gosh. Hello, she's so there cute. She is. Hi. Hello, welcome to the show. Thank you. I'm making zucchini mac and cheese and while y'all talk. Anna, I, if I had known Krista was this hot when I was talking to her the other day, I, 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 <laughs> I spent a little more time on the phone, but I do think her husband Juan was in the background. So Yeah, I don't um, know if he would have liked that. Yeah. <laughs> Juan is the quiet type, right, Krista? He doesn't he doesn't like yes, to talk. He is. Yeah. No, he doesn't. And and by the way, he was doing this whole thing where you were asking questions for him. Right? Yep. I can I can relate to that. <laughs> and guess what he bought yesterday? Uh, a new spinner bike. Oh, really? I thought you were going to say a Jeep. <laughs> right, what, what, yeah, no, that's Anna's husband. What did he pay for? <laughs> do, do you know? He bought it used, you said? He didn't buy it used. He does not buy, do used. Um, he bought it for, I want to say it was fourteen or 1500 Wow. He he went, he, folks, you can oh. buy a spinner bike for a lot less than Juan bought. <laughs> I feel better. Mine was only 900 and I, I thought I overpaid. <laughs> well, which one did you guys get? I think, um, I don't remember which one it is, but it had a specific mountain bike feature where it, oh, that's cool. Got it. Uh, had inclines instead of just, um, making it harder to, to, uh, spin it, it actually right. puts it on an incline. Oh, okay. So yeah, because Juan is getting in more to the mountain biking, Anna. Um, that's awesome. Uh, can, can I talk about your height and weight to let the audience know it? Yep. Um, Let's see. If, Thank uh, you if for I, doing this, Krista. Yeah, Krista. Oh, by the nice. way, I'm, I'm making a bechamel, y'all. Making a bechamel. Uh, Krista, I'm going to impress you because I do a lot of phone calls every week. <clears throat> Let me see if I can impress you. Krista started off. She's about five three. Did I get that point right? Yep. I think you actually said five two and a half. Um, and I want to say that you said that you started at one ninety, but you've lost some weight and you're at. 168. Yep. I started at 197 and I'm at 168. Okay. That's incredible. Congratulations. Thank you. I'm impressed that I remembered all that information from that. Yeah, that is impressive. Vinny, it's not about you. No, it, it's, it's about all Krista. about me. And it's my podcast. <laughs> it's the Vinny Tortorich no, podcast. It's the it Krista podcast. Dot com on the podcast. <laughs> no, I don't know what Vinny you're looking that. at, but okay. <laughs> all right. We'll see how that works. All right. So, Krista. Ooh. What was your question that you asked on Twitter that Anna asked the other day that we're going to answer today? So my question was about ketones. When after you did your uh, Sunday podcast with Gina and she had the ketone monitor, I went, I bought one and I started doing my ketones in the morning. A few times I did it in the afternoon, but it was never above 0.3, almost always a 0.1 or 0.2. And I just was wondering, because I know hers and yours are more in the 0 0.6, 0 0.8, maybe even 1.0. Right. Could I be doing something better to get mine up a little bit? Yeah. And, and by the way, uh, Anna, just so you know, um, Krista did not just get any ketone monitor like you and I would do for 25 bucks. Her husband bought a phlebotomist um, to come and by every day. He, it's a five thousand dollar ketone monitor. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He he literally. But you click through the, the Amazon banner at it, vinnytortors.com. Yeah. So we appreciate yeah. that. Right, he's got a mm -hmm. of us coming over every day to take his because <laughs> that's just the way Juan rolls. That's right. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, um yeah, and, yeah look. All right. A lot to just a lot to unravel here. Um, first and foremost, um, when you told me how low yours was, um, I knew that you weren't doing a very strong ketosis diet. Mm -hmm. right? I, I knew that stuff was seeping in. And um, boy, was I right. But you know, you weren't doing anything really badly. Um, but it was enough to, to, to cause it. Now, the first thing, Anna, that I told young Krista is, 
you know, most people should get to where you are right now, because she's metabolically flexible. Mm -hmm. And we talked, I think we talked about the Prius, you know, I, I call it, you know, you're a Prius. And I think Juan picked up on what that was right away. Uh, because mm -hmm. it was one of the few times he spoke during the entire time. You know, a Prius, <laughs> you don't know if you're burning gas or electricity, because it just goes back and forth all the time. Um, you were doing NSNG pretty good. But there were things that you know, you were messing around with, uh, maybe some ketone products, meaning, hey, these crackers are ketones. And oh, I, I put this and that and the whole thing. Wait, 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 wait. The Go crackers on. that are that say they're keto? Or are you talking about exogenous ketone? Like, oh, keto. drinks? Uh, uh, go ahead, uh, Chris, they explain some of the stuff you you are having that we that we touched on. So um, I know almond milk, like I in um, Anna's cookbook, there's a, I don't know what the name of it, spinach, um, blueberries, almond milk, almond butter. Oh, the, the, the smoothie? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, the smoothie. So I have that usually once a week. Um, I do eat mozzarella cheese. I know that's um, a little higher, more carby. Yeah. Um, I probably, I eat more almond butter um, than I probably should. Like, uh, and I think you caught me with and put it on top of an apple uh, yeah. once or twice a week, maybe. So little things like that, I'm probably doing once a day. And that's seeping in. It adds up. Yeah. yeah, as I told her, Anna, she was, you know, she's bridging the gap for her brain. You know, her brain is, you know, she's doing yeah. something every day. You know, you, so when you look at Christy, you go, well, wow, she's losing weight. You know, well, you know, yeah, she's doing fine. But Krista also that was my question, me, right? So if she's calling me, she she obviously wants to do more or do better. And right, that, you know, it, it's you know, she's more in a tune up phase. And by the way, even with with that, the little screw ups and mess ups every day, she was still pulling off anything from 0.1 to 0.3 uh, millimolars in the morning. So yeah, it's not, you know, I, I used is, to is the goal to be in ketosis. I mean, I know that we are, but like, I'm just, cause now is everybody going to run out and be like, Oh, I better check my blood. Cause I'm not doing it right. Like, no, 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 no. Cause it, you know I, how I, people it, are who listening, they're going to be like, right. And, and look, that's what happened to Krista because she was listening to, you know, Gina was on a rampage because she was getting married. Right. And women get eye of the tiger when they're getting married. You know, yeah, that's true. Um, they, they buy a dress that doesn't fit. And then the goal is to, to fit that, sure, of course. that dress that day. <laughs> and I haven't talked to Gina about it. She doesn't look like she's gaining weight, but I'm not in studio with her anymore. Like I used to be at Adam Carolla. So I can't see her. You right. know, I, I probably won't see Gina until the new year at some point. Right. Um, my next uh, Corolla show visit will probably be over, you know, Skype. So I don't think Gina is so way. Good, she still way. looks good. Uh, yeah. But yeah, you know, she was really into it, right? And yeah. she was able to pull off during the middle of the day a, a 0.5 or 0.6 or something like that. Uh, as I told Krista, I wake up in the morning anywhere from 0.3 to 0.7 or 8. Usually, if I had to take a mean score, I'd probably tell you, I probably most days wake up 0 0.6, 0 0.7. Uh, if I want to, you know, and, and I've done this over the years, you know, I've talked about, you know, being out my kayak in the ocean for three or four hours. And really, you know, that really you're using a lot of energy, a lot of aerobic energy. And then it would take me an hour to drive back to my house because of traffic. Can I just say this something real quick? I'm dabbing these dry and we're going to assemble this. Go ahead. Uh, by the way, folks, Anna is still cooking over there and it's starting to smell really good. Yes, uh, you can check really all this out on the I've melted, uh, I've melted like uh, 7 million cups of cheese into the bechamel. And it Anna, I was watching fantastic. you lift it up lift, and the cheese was just oozing. Here we go. Out. Look at this. Do, do it again. There it is. It's yeah. getting, that's the cheese pull. See, Christy, Christy if it's you got, I'm, that, I'm getting it a little more melty. If you did that, you wouldn't, you, you'd be in deep ketosis. <laughs> this is this is a this is a thanksgiving dish yeah uh it does have a lot of cheese in it you're warned people <clears throat> but just a hair more salt so anyway going back to Thank you. Is, um i was telling um 
I was telling Krista the other day on the phone, when I would do those long things and it'd take an hour to get home, you know, my body was making a lot of ketones. My brain was making a lot, you know, you know, using that fat, turning it into ketone bodies because I had to use it when I was out in the ocean for three or four hours. Same thing if I'm on a mountain bike for five or six hours or whatever, I would always go back home. And if I waited about an hour and then did a, a test, I would always come at 4.2, 4.5, 3.8, something really high. Because when you stop doing it, your body keeps making ketones, right? It hasn't peed them all out yet, right? It hasn't burned them all off. Your brain doesn't just go, oh, Vinny just stopped. I'm going to stop making ketones, right? It just now your body's flooded with them. It doesn't mean that you're losing weight any faster or doing anything else. It's just your body hadn't had a chance to get rid of that yet. It takes a See, minute. That's, that's where I think people get confused and try to push it harder. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, well, the, <clears throat> unfortunately, when they start looking, they're looking at one metric. Right. right? And, 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 you know, young Krista here was looking at one metric also, right? Krista? Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and you're you're the woman that was losing weight, you know, and um, so where do you want to be overall? I know where you want to be, but I want you to say it. Where, where do you want to be overall with weight? With weight, probably 140, around 140. Yeah. Um, and and you're, like almost, you're almost there. We're talking mm -hmm. 28 pounds from now? Yep. About half. I'm halfway there. Yeah. And if you keep doing what got, you know, I've always, I always tell people, keep riding the horse in the direction it was going, you know? Yeah. Um, but if you want to get there a little quicker, you know, putting almond butter on apples and all the other stuff we talked about, you know, almond milk, I'm not quite sure why she was buying. She listens to me when I talk about doing ketones, but boy, <laughs> she didn't listen when I talked about almond milk. You could know. just uh, use water, recipe. by the way. I, I don't, oh. you know, what's funny is like, you you can, it's a smoothie. The, the almond milk is just to make it get smooth, to, to turn it into a liquid. So you could just use mm -hmm. water. Okay, yeah. I'll do that. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, totally. Any, any you know what? Go on. I would throw away so much because I really don't drink it much besides that. Um, right. Or the, a couple of recipes that are in the book. And maybe mm -hmm. like I made your blueberry muffins today and it calls for two tablespoons of almond milk. And you know um, why that is? Do you know why it calls for the tablespoons of almond milk? No. Because it would be like smooshing dirt together because you need some liquid oh, really? to bind it. Yeah. So that's that's all it is. And you can use water, but the almond milk gives it a nice kind of like marrying flavor, but you don't have mm -hmm. to use it. Or you can use regular milk, by the way. Though okay. that uh, I wrote a lot of dairy-free recipes because I get so many inquiries too from people who are dairy-free and they're like, mm -hmm. what do you do? And, um, and vegans used to pay attention to us a lot more back. With that's the true. Book. Back in the day. Now yeah. look at this. Look at this. Looks I'm going. So I'm good. tossing this cheese with the zucchini because you want to kind of mix it in, and then I'm going to dump it all into the pan. It's a hot mess, and then I'm going to cover it with the breadcrumbs, which is the almond flour. Again, you can use pork rind and the pancetta. That's good. I like that. Can I ask a now, question about zucchini? Yes. Where do you find, well, now you're in California. Where I'm really struggling to find it in the winter. Uh, it might not be in season. And mm -hmm. just do, do leafy greens are in season in the winter, like chard, um, kale, broccoli. You can pretty much find all the time. Zucchini might be a more seasonal thing. Uh, but I mean, it's, it's in season somewhere. It's just a matter of, is your grocery store going to ship it in? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Chris, can I tell you something? Yes. If you made yes. that same dish and used, uh, broccoli, no, no yeah, you could do broccoli. It, it'll you probably can do broccoli in here. Better. I love broccoli. I, I will do, think about it. Broccoli with all that, that cheese and <laughs> cream. Oh my God. You could definitely do that. As a matter of fact, this Anna, is simple too. You could add, you could saute onions with this. You could, it's just, see how I'm, I'm making get, it I'm nice and Serena, even. I'm going to get Serena to make this for me with broccoli. But the, but the, yeah, do that. The thing is, what I specialize in is when people say, I miss the mac and cheese, you know, the old school mac and cheese that's like the deck, not craft mac and cheese, but like homemade with like five different kinds of cheeses. That, 
Yeah. This is it. This is what's going to give you that feeling. And at, at Thanksgiving, that's the one recipe that I still hadn't put up was this one. And uh, I have a bajillion recipes out there. Where's my, oh, I found them, my breadcrumbs. So if you could, you can substitute any vegetable you want in there, or <laughs> if you want to be crazy, you could just put uh, do a meat in there and just put the, make the cheese and put that over mm. it. So now this is cooled enough that I'm just gonna put those on there. Beep, 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 boo. And you, you can oh put- God, It uh, smells you, so good. You, you can put uh, pork rind crumbs on that. Yep, right? you can do pork rind crumbs. You can do a to. mixture. Oh, yeah. I just did it the way that the recipe is written so you guys can see it and then you can feel free to make it your own. I almost exclusively use pork rinds for stuff now. Again, as my eating evolves, my recipes are evolving, you know? That's good. Yeah, and then, can, I, can I ask a question before you talk mm -hmm. about it? All right. If I do the uh, broccoli, should I steam it up a bit or just go raw broccoli? Uh, if you cut it in small enough pieces, it's gonna cook in the oven. So I'm gonna put this in for about 30 minutes so that the cheese gets hot and bubbly and it cooks the zucchini. You just don't, you wanna make sure that you cover this so that you don't burn what you've already kind of toasted with the breadcrumbs. Right, I usually leave the stalk about a half an inch because I like the florets, you know. I do, I like the stalk too. No, ever, nobody likes the stalks anymore. Yeah, I don't do a long stalk. I, I'll cut I'll cut it down because I'll buy the big thing, right? Of broccoli and yeah. I'll cut the stalk yeah. down. And uh, then I have pretty much just the florets and I like to cut yeah. them all. So, oh my God. Oh. Yeah, and then the florets, the little Maybe tree part holds all that cheese. And okay. Then, is that all the pancetta you're just throwing on that's top? That's all the pancetta. If you want to put more or less, that's up to you. You, can, you can't go wrong by adding more pancetta. Now, I'm going to cover this with foil and bake it that way. Because, again, I, I do not want to burn. See, you can see the pancetta is already kind of done. So you don't want to burn yeah. that. But yeah, you but also didn't, crispy. it wouldn't, it, it, if you didn't pre-crisp the pancetta, you would put it in there. And because it's got liquid underneath it, it wouldn't crisp yeah. up. So we had to pre-crisp it. You know what I'm saying? It's all just about the, the, the science of it. But when it comes to savory dishes, stuff is way, way more flexible with like trading out ingredients. Like I said, you can trade out the cheeses. You can yeah. trade out the vegetable. You could add a meat in there. You could do whatever you want. But this is just a basic, substitute zucchini mac and cheese that's in the first book i actually like putting these on baking trays because it's easier to take in and out of the oven anna why did you put tin foil can you just let it go without tin well that's foil? that's uh, because so the oven's at about 350 right so what what we want is this cheese to melt even more and and kind of get boiling and bubbly so it cooks the zucchini in there but if i don't put tin foil on top it's going to burn the top of the breadcrumbs oh. and the 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 pancetta right i see i never know when to use tin foil it's just about protecting the tie it's almost it's the same concept of you're making a turkey or a roast right. chicken <clears throat> and you put foil over the breast after you know a certain amount of time so it doesn't overcook that part because right. you're trying to cook the other part. And we could take that off. If you feel like you didn't brown stuff good enough, you could just cook it uncovered. But um you're not gonna you're not gonna mess this one up. It's Got pretty it. darn good. So again, I put it on a tray because it's just easier to take in and out of the oven. And if it's bubbling and boiling over you have something to catch it so it doesn't stay letting your up. heat out anna i know i know jesus i know don't let the heat out you gotta don't open let the heat out and slam it i do you have this thing that i can't let food coated things just sit in my sink i, I can't let, I, uh, I can't you know i gotta clean it and you know me i, I clean I, it I just, as i go i Serena clean it as i go anything. so it's I think really Selena, like splashes stuff everywhere like a I, I can't not, I can't like, it's hard for me to not clean that right now. I know it, it drives me nuts. I, I got to clean everything. <laughs> so like this right pan now. sitting here with the schmutz in it. Oh, right. I'm getting the heebie jeebies. I, I know. Put I water to, in it, Anna. That's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. You that's see what, what I'm doing. It's, it's like we're a husband and wife. <laughs> <laughs> Three time zones away, bossing each other yeah. around. Yeah, it, it doesn't change. Well, Krista, I like your question because I think that people have it all the time. Like, and, and when is it that like we should be doing more and when is it that we don't need to do more? And it's like, 
we don't know sometimes. So thank you for coming on and discussing it. Krista, before I let you go, one one more question. Um, did you find, because I always wonder this, and you don't have to answer yes. So, you know, did you find uh, the consults helpful? I'm always wondering if people are actually getting out of it, you know, anything. Yes. I wish you offered a two-hour one. Oh, oh, I agree. You just have to pay double. Um, yeah, that's true. I didn't think of that. <laughs> no, and your husband, he'll buy me for a week. I know, stuff. right? Have Vinny come live with us. <laughs> yeah, can Vinny just come here for a while, honey? Just live yeah. Where do you guys live? We live in Frederick, Maryland. Well, I, I can go up there. Wow. Hang on. My mom yeah. lived in Gaithersburg for 25 years. Oh, wow. Use that so real swanky bike. I went, I went to Frederick yeah. a lot. Did you? Yeah. It's a really nice place to live. Oh, you guys, get, awesome. is it getting cold up there? Yeah, really cold. Yeah. Yeah, we started getting cold. All of a sudden, winter came like mm -hmm. this week, and it just showed up. Yep. Yeah. Ugh. Now I can't do anything until spring. I feel like <laughs> I'm inside until spring. <laughs> I yeah. hate being cold. <laughs> I'm crazy. Well, Krista, thanks for coming on. And um, we're always here. You have questions. You know where to find us. And um, yeah, that's the one thing I noticed about the consults. Once people do one and they go, wait a minute, this guy just sits on the phone and answers my questions for an hour. Mm -hmm. And then they sign up yeah. again and again and again. And, um, and it becomes a motivating thing. And I used to wonder why anyone would want to do a consult, right, when we first started. And turns out everyone kind of wanted to do it. And I was like, all right, I guess we'll just do these. And uh it turns out that I think I get more out of it than you guys because, um, and Chris, I'll tell you this, and I'm, I'm going to do a, a, a Saturday show with, um, uh, what's her name from Seattle? I should have thought about this before. Foxy Hoxie. Who's that? Megan Hawks. Foxy no, 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 try again. Jackie yeah. Jones. No, go again. I would remember Jackie. Um, Katie. Katie Applegate, Schmaps. Uh, uh, no, how about Courtney Suderman? Uh, Courtney Suderman, yes. There we go. I just looked at a name on my list because the list is right over there. Courtney Suderman, you know, as you know, lost a ton of weight doing an S and G. And when I saw her on my schedule, I was like, "Why is she calling?" You know, it, it, Courtney is really. Well, Courtney, you know, and I can say this because we're going to talk about it on the Saturday show. You know, she put on 20 pounds, you know, during COVID. And she was a school teacher and, you know, there's a lot going on and kids and husband and the whole thing. And she was like, hey, I'm still doing an S&G and, and, and I'm, I've put on 20 pounds. Well, I know that to be a lie, but me and Courtney had to go through it, figure it out. And turns out, you know, Anna, she was, she was starting to buy a lot of these keto things. Mm-hmm. Keto, keto explosion at the grocery store. Yeah, keto this, keto that. And maybe this was happening at work, and maybe she was having a little more of that when you bit, 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 bop, 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 boop. And in the past year and a half, you know, look, Courtney lost a shit ton of weight. I yeah. can't remember how much. And 20 pounds, I'm, you know, she's not obviously not put on a lot considering what she lost. But, you know, she was moving in the wrong direction. You know, I like it, doesn't, it doesn't feel good to move in the wrong direction. No. And she just needed a touch up. You know, even people like that long time in us and low carbers like Courtney. Courtney was the first one to meet me one night in a hotel. It was cool because her husband was there and um, <laughs> we met in the lobby <laughs> and she gave me a, uh, a conch shell and she wanted me to sign it. That was the first conch shell. And that, that's what gave us the idea for the movie to, to do the conch shells. Um, so yeah, you know, people, people can screw up and get it back. Uh, Krista, I have another, uh, and I didn't tell you about this idea. You know, I haven't done a hat since the first movie. Oh, I'm thinking about doing a hat for the third movie, a beyond impossible hat. I wonder if I could, I wonder if I could get Juan to buy like 10 of them. He has about 20 hats, so yes. <laughs> uh, we, Juan, Anna, I'm going to make I'm going to make 10 hats. I know I can sell 10. Yeah, you got 10 on lock. <laughs> yeah, right there. 
<laughs> He'll have Krista wearing one. The kid will be wearing one. Everybody will be yeah. wearing one over at Everybody Pond in the Cup. neighborhood. And uh, so there you have it. Uh, well, Krista, thank you for coming on. And please, thank you know, you you're always welcome to come back on. And, uh, you know, you yeah, know, give us an update. Keep us posted. Thank you. And I meet my goal. I'll come back on. Cool. I'm excited. Okay. Krista will be back on in two weeks, folks. There you have it. <laughs> <laughs> Eyes on the prize, baby. That's right. Yep. Now, Anna, I don't know how to make Krista go away. No, I think I can. I think Krista knows leave. how to leave a meeting. Okay. Yeah. She, Krista, she's a lady. Me. She knows how to leave a meeting. Yeah. Bye, sweetie. Thank Bye, you so guys. much. Bye. Thank you. Have a good day. God, I need to learn how to work the computer, Anna. Nah, it's more fun yeah. with you not knowing how. I know. It's kind of weird. Um, Okay, I'm I'm kind of done with this show, but I, you know what? We All right, I got the mac and cheese in the oven. It's going to stay there for 30 minutes. I'm going to check on it and take the foil off and maybe do it another 10, 15 minutes if I need to. Um, it's too much food for me and Lauren to eat, so I'm going to have to give it to the neighbors or something because it's it's for it's meant to bring to like a potluck or a yeah Thanksgiving thing. Well, if uh, I still oh, live there, I would just go up there. You you would just come eat that, and you would yeah. be very happy. I would motorboat that. <laughs> yeah, you would. You would head in it. You <laughs> motorboat boobies and yeah, mac and cheese. That's right. That's the only two things I'm Those are the two things. But you can't motorboat Serena's boobies because you know they're not that big. She got small boobies. Yeah. Which I like. Oh. I'm a small booby guy. Okay, Anna. We I don't have play, a response to anything. <laughs> we're gonna play stripper NFL. Uh, what was okay. the word I had to remember? Can I say this? Yeah. If you guys DM me, I still have a 40 or 50 copies of these that Amazon sent to me by accident. I will sign and send for 25 bucks each. I'll take the shipping. And the other thing I wanted to say, Vinny, because holidays are coming up. We were talking about books. Here's my question to you, Vinny, because I was thinking we must have listeners who either are business owners or can influence business owner decisions. And I thought, wouldn't it right. be a cool package gift to have your book and one of my books as like a package gift that you either give as like an employee appreciation gift sure. or a client appreciation gift or if like in january just email me if you want to talk about bulk sales we'll put something together like yeah, bulk we'll sales meaning out. you know 20 or more books at the same time we'll figure that's it out because i thought that would be like yeah and you know if you work for a small company there's 20 people or whatever that's great if you work for a large company even better we can cut a better deal but I was just thinking about that. I was like, that would be actually like a really cool thing I, I like, to do. Anna, I like that idea. Uh, let's get Megan on that and we'll make that happen. She is. She's already on it. I just wanted to say it on the air. Yeah. And Anna also. Um, you can get me like like boxes of your books, right? Because she could put that together. We can get what? them shipped I, to people think, or we can ship right, you Anna, the bulks of the book. I think I have 45 or so books here. Oh, well. If we get more than that, you can print more and get them, get access oh, to them. Oh, no, right? they, Cause yours are easier to print. Oh, mine, I have to print 10,000 at a time. And no, no, ass, but mine, uh, Amazon, like if, if I just wrote to Amazon and said, I need, you know, 50 or- Order a hundred uh, copies for this company. Yeah, yeah okay. Yeah, good. They, just, I think that's a cool idea. Like I would like to receive that if I yeah. worked for a company. And Anna, I gotta tell you, I'm a little ticked off because if I knew you had books, you'd have me two sitting there and you would have signed them. I would have bought because, as you know, I just bought a stack Oops. of both of your books. <laughs> I know. I would, have, I would have taken 10. You didn't of them. mention that when you said that, that you were doing that, and I should have said something. Oh, man, because signed copies of a book? I mean, that, that's a big deal. So, folks, since I have all the books I need, go get these books and uh, make that happen. Eat happy too. Anna will sign it for you 25 yeah. bucks. Yeah. And it is just the second book. I don't oh, have wait, copies uh, of the first uh, book. Uh, yeah, let, let, me, let me do some selling for you. Folks, they're $25 okay. each. If you get 10 out of time signed, Anna will sell you not for 250, not for 240, 235 for 10 bucks. There you uh, go. Happy to do it. And you do that, Anna? You yeah. See what I did? That's that how you make that. That's how Happy you to do it. And I will ship them to you. And if you live in the Santinez Valley, I will deliver them to you. That's right. With, with a V neck on, folks. You, you can. <laughs> that's right. You know what I'm talking about. Folks, uh, we're going to play a little stripper NFL. Anna, what was the word? Munique. I want to look this company up. Munique. M-U-N-I-Q-U is how I'm going to spell it. Munique. All right. Now, folks, the way we play this game is 
for the NFL player, we have to give the guy a last name. So just you have to turn me. you have to turn off the recording though. Uh, I will. Um, okay. Folks, if you want to hear the rest of this, you're going to have to go ahead and uh, and uh, but, 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 uh, go to uh, just iTunes or somewhere wherever you hear a whole podcast. Where is where is the podcast? iTunes. Spotify, Everywhere. Stitcher, Stitcher, Spotify, blah, 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 Overcast, blah, blah, blah. yeah, Apple everywhere. Podcasts. We, we are okay. everything, everywhere you could get a podcast, we're on it. Um, okay. Yeah. Yeah. We people um, listen to us everywhere. Just so you know, I looked up Munique yeah. on Instagram, and they are Munique is a delicious shake with 15 grams of prebiotic fiber to control blood sugar, improve weight loss, gut health, and more. Okay. That is a real product. Wow. So Anna, I will say this here, folks, if you want to go shopping uh, on Amazon, before you do that, go to vinnytotters.com, click through the banner, it puts coal in the fire, gets my train down the track. Also, we have a super fan page at vinnytotters.com. Check out Anna Vocino. Uh, at AnnaVolcino.com. She also has Eat Happy Kitchen where you're going to get all kinds of cool stuff. Like uh, you get, you get, well, if you were cool like me, you would still have one jar of pumpkin marinara. You can't get it anymore. I got something you can't get. Okay. And don't even call me and ask me for it. I will not sell it to you. I'm using it. Also, um, I got one jar of it. You have one there. I got one. Yeah. Here. Next time. I had, no, I had to mail what I was supposed to be mine for pos posterity. I had to mail it to customers. <laughs> I don't yeah. have it. Yeah. Uh, and I, I have Putanesca. She's got Putanesca. She's yeah, got yeah, marinara. Yeah, 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 she's yeah, got yeah. the pink sauce. Yeah. She's got it all. Go check it all out at Eat Happy Kitchen. You can also get her books at um, Amazon or any uh, of the finer book sellers out there. That's sure, Eat Happy. Sure. Eat Happy too. All right, now we're going to cut off this so we can. All right, so you can go over Munich. the rest of this. Munich. Munich. Goodbye, YouTube.